This review is of the Capital One Shopping uh, Browser Extension, which used to be from Wikibuy, but Capital One bought it out. Um, I do have to make a disclaimer. I am an Amazon employee, but I shop wherever I can get the best deal. I have complained as both a customer and employee to Amazon about the dissatisfying state of the shopping experience. And when I say that, I mean online. Um, Websites like Newegg are a pleasure in comparison. However, this post has nothing to do with my employment, the Amazon website, and are the damage that Capital One shopping might potentially do to Amazon. The purpose is, just to be clear here, I'm hoping for others who are good at this stuff to help me determine if cost does have a keylogger because of what I witnessed on two computers, a very old Toshiba satellite with a Windows 10 and a brand new custom made Windows 11 desktop and two browsers, Brave and Edge. So we're going to take a look. So first of all, you can go to the Chrome Web Store. You can also uh, go to the Edge Store and you can add this to your browser. Um, and then once it's on there, everything is going to be hunky-dory. So um, the Capital One Shopping app has partnerships with literally, I, I'm pretty sure it's well over a thousand stores. Now here are just a few of the stores, but if you scroll down on this page, you actually see the full list. And I'm just going to very quickly, I mean, that's got to be well over a thousand, right? That's a lot of stores that are associated with this app or extension. I mean, um, and so you will theoretically, whenever you shop on Amazon, okay, because this app is specifically trying to siphon customers away from Amazon, um, you'll theoretically, or at least the claim is, they'll compare Amazon prices to prices on all those other websites, and then it'll tell you where the best deal is. Now, I used this. I started using this using this product in uh, September of 2022 uh, because I wanted to save some money. I wanted to, um, to simplify the search process that I was going through to help me find the best deal, and Capital One Shopping did indeed help me. Um, I managed to uh, save some money, in a manner of speaking, um, because, well, let me just read for, uh, my script to you, okay? What the Cop Capital One Shopping Extension does is, um, let's see, uh, blah, 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 blah. So, uh, I was searching for deals on computer parts to build new PCs for my son and me when I came across an amateurish article about Capital One Shopping, formerly from Wikibuy, which claimed it would help you by looking at a large number of vendor sites to find you better deals than Amazon could offer. In other words, the specific goal of this app is to redirect customers from Amazon to thousands of competitors. In my case, searching for com computer parts, the websites were almost exclusively B&H, Photo and Video, eBay, Newegg, and rarely Walmart and Best Buy. But uh, COS does mention travel rewards, and I'm not sure whether Amazon has such service, services on offer, so perhaps other countries, are, sorry, companies are also targeted by costs. The app did not provide price comparisons on other websites I tried, including the ones I just mentioned. So if I went to any of those uh, vendors that I, uh, that I sh mentioned right here, um, though the cost app um, extension does nothing about doing a price comparison. So it's just a one-way thing, siphoning customers off of Amazon. Um, if Amazon has the best price, it says that. And you can add items to a watch list, which I'm sure that Cost is eager to see, so they can use that at, with all the other browsing data they collect. If there is a lower price, it'll show you which website has the lowest price, and you can either click to go to that website directly or go to Cost's website, so you can see other websites and what their prices look like. So let me just briefly demonstrate that to you. I'll go to Amazon, and I will search for uh, Noctua. Uh, yeah, there we go. Knock to a fan. All right. Now, sometimes, uh, well, I don't have it on here right now. I don't have the extension on here. So I guess I'm going to have to install it to show you. And there we go. I'm not going to do the onboarding because it's uh, I'm already a customer. Um, 
So if you have it fully installed and everything like that, it'll actually on sometimes on this page it, and um it'll show you price comparisons sometimes. But we'll just go ahead and look at the first one here and see if it's going to take. There we go. So now it's searching for other prices, see if it can get a better deal on this fan. <clears throat> This is for adding it to the watch list so it, you can keep track of when the price goes down, uh, which I, I, I'm sure if you look at the, uh, sorry, the description of this product, uh, let's see, privacy practices. So they do actually keep track of your uh, browsing habits and stuff like that using this app uh, extension. So keep in mind that with Capital One Shopping, they are tracking at least some of what you do on the internet through their extension. So that is something that some people may not like. Anyways, getting back to Amazon.com, it says this is the best price. Now, if it said if it found something that was better than this, it would actually show you the the best price, and there would be this little thing that would open up. Now you can click on that, anyways, and you can see the other. Uh, well, it says seven other offers. I don't know why it's only. Uh, oh, I see. So you can select new, certified, refurbished, returns offered, verified. I'm gonna get rid of that. Um, so you can see that whereas on Amazon it's 26.95, it's 28.77 with tax okay and then on ebay it's 3015 on new egg is 3479 um and you can see that there's two uh, two percent cash back three percent cash back and these are shopping rewards um okay so then you can go to the competitor's website and they'll bring it up and you can say, hey, it's 34, 18. Is that what it said on here? I don't remember. You can also, if you feel that they've made a mistake, you can select no and then you can specify what the error was that was made. Like maybe the price doesn't match what it was supposed to match based on what um, the extension told you. So you can select that and so they can update that, you know, make... Uh, Fix it however they fix it. Now, going back to here, it's $26.95. Um, you can get actually free delivery, so it's a little bit disingenuous that here it shows $1.82 tax because, um, well, I'm sorry, not $1.82. <laughs> Silly me, I'm confusing tax and shipping. Tax is tax. Okay, so uh, $31.02. Okay, so wait a second. 31.02 and it says here that it's 34.18 on eBay. So right away, you know, if we, I'm going to just open this up again. So it's 34.18. We can see that once again, the price is incorrect. So we're going to submit that. Um, and we can try this one and we'll see what it shows us. And this is $26.95. Now, $26.95 versus $26.95. So it's the same price exactly. Um, so let's... And it has it wrong here. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to quickly mark this. The price is incorrect. Um, but anyways, here's the thing. Once you... Okay, so once you... Um, put this into your cart. So I'll just add this to my cart for now. And um, no thanks, I don't want that. And then I will, ugh, okay. View cart. Now it's very important that when you, um, all right, try codes. Just trying to find a code to help me save more money which is something else that it does. And it doesn't look like it's going to have any success with any of the codes. Okay, and this is because it's a third party selling this product through New Newegg. Uh, a lot of some of this stuff doesn't work. Um, and that also pops up over there, what I just um, closed 
to give allow you to give feedback on the accuracy of the offer from Capital One Shopping. You're going to want to make sure that um, <coughs> that you did turn on Capital One Shopping for this website. Um, otherwise, you're not going to be able to get your discount. And well, the problem then becomes is you won't get your well you won't it's not discount it's the rewards you won't get your rewards okay um and that can be very frustrating that actually happened to me and i will warn you that if you have other um, shopping apps on there like say Scently, rakuten or honey they can potentially interfere with um the functionality of Capital One Shopping. So you don't want to use them if you're using Capital One Shopping. So what happens is, is you make your, make your purchase, it records that purchase, and, um, it, and it'll put it in your rewards and savings dashboard here where it shows you your shopping trips. Now, I don't have any shopping trips recorded because for some reason when I made my purchases using COS, um, those purchases didn't get recorded. I don't know if it was because I did have other shopping extensions um, on my browser, which I don't now, um, or if something else happened. I had to wait over a month, and then I had to submit my receipt uh, receipts actually to them, and they, to their credit, they did eventually give me full credit for all of those purchases, resulting in me having a savings of over. Um, uh, <coughs> just in terms of the rewards, uh, because a lot of the time, the price difference between the um, where I bought the stuff, which is usually B and H photo and video, was negligible in comparison to Amazon. But there is that reward, and in one case, I got um, a graphics card, and I got a reward of over a hundred dollars. Um, so yeah, it ended up with a rewards of over two hundred dollars, two hundred sixteen dollars, I believe. And so that was kind of nice, except I would have preferred to have just had a discount and saved that much money, which I could have then used at my leisure and on a website that I wanted to use it on. See, that's the thing. When you get a reward, you can redeem it. But in order to redeem it, you can only choose from these gift cards. There's no way to put it into your bank account. Or if you're smart, a credit union account, there's no way to get gift cards for, say, Amazon or um, any most of the other companies that are partnered with COS or Capital One, I should say. And so you're stuck with this small number of options for using that reward money that you saved by using Capital One shopping. And that's for me, a problem. I mean, uh, I ended up choosing Walmart, but I was not happy because the amount of money from my gift cards that I had to spend on Walmart, for, for that amount, I would have gotten a lot more stuff if I just bought on Amazon. But hey, at least I had that money available to me, which I wouldn't have had if I had not used Capital One Shopping. So it's not that I didn't get anything out of the deal. I definitely got something out of the deal. It's just that the value, if you look at valuation of my buying power on Amazon or Newegg or if you trust eBay, eBay um, it, versus buying power on Walmart or Best Buy or most a lot of these other companies, you don't get as much bang for your buck. So it can be, for me at least... I'm uh, fr I'm frustrated by the very limited choice. I couldn't even get a generic like Visa or Mastercard gift card um, to use. So that to me is you know not good. But maybe you look at this and you're like, heck yeah, I want to go to Kohl's. All right. Well, then there's Columbia, which I absolutely refuse to patronize uh, because of a problem that I had with him a few years ago. Um, okay, so anyways, getting back to the story. So that's that's how it works. Now, um, <laughs> let's see. I want to make sure I haven't skipped anything. So, 
Um, yeah, so it says it has the lowest price. If it doesn't have it, then it, it shows you and you can go to the other websites. The total savings represented includes both the reward and the difference, if any, in price. In other words, if Amazon's selling it for $50 and this other website selling it for $40, that's part of the <coughs> savings represented plus any reward that's being offered by Capital One Shopping. And so, in the case of the um, graphics card that I bought, um, there was really no difference in price between Amazon and B&H, uh, photo and video, but I got over $100 back via the Capital One Shopping application. And that was great. Not uh, back, but in, re in rewards, sorry. Um, when I first started, I was under the impression, though, that it was a cashback program. I don't recall why it may have been the article I read. And I did do a little bit of research on this to try and verify that it was legit because I felt like, well, maybe this is a scam and they're just piggybacking on the Capital One name. But then it's it, it turned out that Capital One really does own this now. Uh, I found uh, the... I did find the layout of information on a product and the deal I'd get to be somewhat confusing. I had to kind of suss it out for a bit, um, and I still find it kind of awkward. I wish they would rearrange how the information is displayed on their web page. Um, and I'm referring to uh, the display of information up here. I'm not sure what's going on with that. We'll just get rid of that. Um, Sometimes when you look over here to see the um, the deal and stuff, it just it's a little bit awkward. And this is not it usually displays differently than this. But anyways, um, many times the information is accurate. Although as I showed you or, or, um, just a little while ago, and, and yesterday I found an item that cost claimed I'd save forty dollars on, but I only found a savings of about twenty six dollars. You can report discrepancies like I showed you. Um, and you, um, you can tell them what specifically was wrong, but um, cost doesn't just do price comparisons and watch listing. They also, uh, as I said, they have their rewards program, and I showed you the dashboard, and I showed you the the websites, uh, the, sorry, the companies that they are partnered with. I also showed you the uh, website or companies that you can get dif digital gift cards for. Um, <coughs> And again, cost, customer service recommended to me that I disable or get rid of other shopping extensions so they don't interfere. Um, your track shopping trips and you must act, opt in or activate the COS when you go to a participating vendor's cart so you can, when, that you, when you purchase, it is tracked and shows up on the dashboard. Um, okay, so, but there's a catch and it makes sense. Aside from the fact that you must not have a competing extension like Recruiting Assembly and Honey active at that vendor's website and you must have COS opted in to track it, you don't get rewards right away. If you didn't have any conflict that prevented COS from tracking the purchases, you'll see them listed in the dashboard. However, it can take 30 to 60 days before that money is cleared for you to turn into gift cards. Um, why? In my case, something caused my purchases not to be recorded. Customer service informed me that purchases may not show up for 30 to 60 days, and in the case of travel purchases, 90 days. Now, I'm not sure if they don't, if the shopping trip doesn't show up, or you, they just don't award you the money immediately, but you see the shopping trip in the disc, uh, in the dashboard because nothing showed up in my dashboard um, after waiting more than a month with nothing showing up in my dashboard. I was feeling like, oh my God, did they rip me off? Was it some big scam and somehow I overlooked something that would have clued me into the fact that it was a scam? Well, no. I applied pressure, sent in copies of my receipts, and was rewarded with a lump sum not listed on the dashboard as trips. It was just listed on, um, it was just listed here as available rewards. Um, so if you're happy with being restricted to a small number, about 50 uh, vendors for gift cards, none of which I'm excited about, then the wait for your reward to clear should be worth it, especially if, like me, you saved hundreds. You may ask, but why? That's ridiculous to have to wait 30, 60, even 90 days. Well, it's all because of people returning things. Vendors don't want to give out money 
uh, until they know you're not going to cancel or legitimately return a product. The money clears when it's obvious that you're not going to change your mind. Judging by the horror stories I've heard from people who used to work on returns, there are a lot of disgusting people who return products they've thoroughly used and even people who swap out the real item for garbage. Just a real quick story. Somebody bought underwear and returned it with poop on the underwear. Okay, that's just one example. Seems pretty justifiable to me to delay paying out rewards. Of course, at the time, I was feeling pretty nervous, wondering if I hadn't done my homework on this extension correctly and was going to be ripped off. I wasn't. I got my rewards and spent them. Ironically, I chose to get my gift cards for Walmart, and when I placed my order, I spent all of my rewards, but then they canceled one of my items. And then they couldn't get them. They couldn't somehow manage to take that money off of my rewards card, and so I had to pay uh, a different way, <clears throat> which is so I know now I have eighty some dollars I have to spend again. Please note that, and they don't have what I want on Walmart right now. Please note that the extension tracks several aspects of your browsing experience, like I said before, as stated on the Google Play page for it. Okay, so here is. <clears throat> and after this, um, you're going to see some examples of this. Um, I tried to uh, troubleshoot this problem, um, and I tried uh, to find out, you know, what how it starts and how it stops and stuff like that. Because prior to installing Capital One Shopping, I'd never had this happen to me before. But when I was on YouTube. After installing COS, I noticed that it seemed to be typing or copying, buffering what I was typing into YouTube. So this originally happened on my old laptop. Sorry. Um, after I installed COS. I didn't initially install it on my new computer, but once I had and I had restarted my browser, the effect occurred again. It reminds me of the old days when you had Echo on while using a Haze compatible modem. I think that's what it was. It's been so long. Uh, but with the difference that some characters will disappear at random intervals and reappear in the correct position, all within the space of a second. So, slow enough to be noticeable and disruptive because I touch type look at, looking at the screen, not my keyboard. Anyone who looks at their keyboard while typing is unlikely to notice. After experimenting with both Brave and Edge on my new Windows 11 PC, I can share the following observations. Bra for Brave, which I had installed with Malwarebytes Browser Guard and NoScript, when you install the, the uh, COS extension, buffering doesn't start until you open a new YouTube page uh, or tab, or refresh an existing one, or if you restart the browser. The buffering may or may not stop when you dis disable the extension, even if you refresh. It doesn't stop if you remove the extension. It only stops after uninstalling the extension and closing Brave if you wait for an unknown amount of time before you start Brave up again. Immediately starting up Brave somehow keeps it in memory. Don't ask me. Uh, for Edge, with I had no script, Sently, and Rakuten, when you install the extension, buffering doesn't start until you restart Edge. It doesn't consistently work, either. Several times a video I randomly chose was preceded by a Capital One Shopping advertisement. Huh. And that was after I installed Capital One Shopping. It stops after... You disable it, but sometimes you have to refresh or even restart. Uninstalling the extension from Edge immediately stops the buffering without having to restart. So the experience is a little bit different from one browser to another. Unfortunately, <coughs> after testing it several times on both browsers, it decided to stop buffering, and I couldn't get it to do it again. Until it suddenly started up after I had removed the extension and restarted Brave, but still nothing on Edge. It continued to buffer until I refreshed the YouTube video. I've used NoScript for a very long time, and i never had this happen, so I'm skeptical that it is responsible. I have reported this on uh, <coughs> uh, bleepingcomputer.com, and hopefully somebody or some people there will take a look into this problem. I also reported it to Google Play, and hopefully they'll take a look at it. This is actually a product that's available for phones as well as for um, your computer. So I personally am very, very uh, concerned about this if, and because at the very end when I was putting this up 
on my uh, on here's the bleeping computer um, thing that I wrote up, which is basically what I was reading to you. As I was writing this last line down here, it started buffering it, and that was after I had uninstalled the um, extension. So as you can see, I don't. I'm going to have to get rid of it now. Yeah. So I definitely encourage you to not use this until it can be fully investigated. If you've got it, disable it, restart your comp your uh, browser, and um, if you um, notice any bu weird things like the buffering that you'll see here in a minute here, um, remove it from your browser. Thanks, um, and uh, hold on for the rest of the video. There was another thing that started happening, and it only seemed to happen on YouTube, which I thought was very weird, because what does YouTube have to do with Amazon? I don't think there's any connection, but I really don't know. So, I noticed, after I installed the Capital One um, extension, that... I was having this issue where, as I was typing in YouTube, um, thing it, it would be like the letters would disappear and reappear over and over again. It was all like it was like something was capturing my my typing by and, and literally reprinting it. So I thought, well, that's odd. Well, I went onto YouTube. And the same thing was happening. Now, here's... I'm going to show you an example. And I want you to watch as I type. Are you seeing that happen? It doesn't happen every time. It used to happen... Far more frequently than that, it was kind of dis, uh, dis um, what's the word? Disorienting a little bit because I would never know if I typed something or not because it would there'd be that little delay before it reappeared. Anyways, so let's see if there's hmm. And you can see this, right? I'm not doing any backspacing. I'm not doing any deleting. I just want you to see this. Hopefully, this is being captured in the video. Oh my gosh, even deleting it got buffered. So what's happening, apparently, is that Capital One Shopping, which you can see up here in, on the right-hand side of my bar here, um, it's this S, Capital One Shopping, that's kind of gray next to the funny-looking blue M. The other S is no script on uh, my script blocker, um, but this is it. So here's what I uh, I did on um, uh, Edge once I realized that it was happening there too. <clears throat> I went ahead and I removed that and the other extensions that I had on Edge. And when I did that, the problem went away. And I thought, huh, okay, so maybe it is Capital One Shopping. So then I reinstalled Capital One Shopping, and it didn't happen. So here's the thing that I forgot with both of Edge and Brave. When you make a change, some like, like disabling or enabling or installing um, a, an extension or a plugin or whatever you want to call it, sometimes the full impact of that product doesn't happen until you restart your browser. So that's what I, I discovered. I played with it some more, and I discovered yesterday that when I had uh, Capital One Shopping, Actually, today, not yesterday. Um, I went ahead, Capital One Shopping on here and active. That would happen. Now, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go into uh, my extensions. And <coughs> I'm just going to disable that one. 
now we're going to go ahead and sorry about that uh, the Microsoft uh, screen recorder doesn't allow images of the desktop uh, so it stopped when I closed uh, the browser which is kind of annoying but anyways I reopened the browser okay now when we go back to hush let's see what happens <coughs> oh it did happen oh it did happen okay so it's still happening now you can see that um, it's not showing up here right now I've used these are the only other extensions I've got installed on my system right now. I've used, this is Malwarebytes. I've used this one for a very long time, ever since it came out. And no script I've used for a very long time. So the chances of these two being the cause are very low. Now, let's go back into the extensions. I'm going to remove Capital One Shopping. I'm not going to tell them why because I don't want them to be suspicious. Now, just <coughs> just to see what happens, After I'm going to reload this page. And now I'm going to try again. Oh, it's still doing it, even though I reloaded the page. All right, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going, Now that I've gotten rid of that ex Capital One extension from here, I'm going to and again, I'm sorry that's um, that it turned everything off or it turned off the recording. But let's go ahead yeah, and cool see easy. what happens. Let's just, oh, it's still doing it. Uh-oh, this is a bad sign. This is a very bad sign. So this shouldn't be happening now. I don't, um, I don't know what other websites this might be happening on, but this is deeply concerning especially because it shouldn't be happening once that app is removed which probably means that I'm going to have to delete it all right well um, I'll talk to you in a